Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Kim, and I am in my kitchen. I wanted to highlight um, a few of the tools that are $100 off this month. So I'm starting with the Deluxe Grill and Griddle, and I'm going to show you. Um, I have some marinated pork here, and I'm using the probe with it today because that's going to take out any guesswork on how long to cook this. So I'm going to insert the probe now um, so that it's ready to go and then show you that on this dial, I simply push the probe button. It's set at 400 degrees. I'm going to leave it there because I'm grilling it and then push the button to set that and then it will turn to temperature and pork should be cooked to 145 degrees. So that's what I plugged in and now the little um, little box, the thinking box goes around and it will beep at me when it's ready to go. So that's how easy it is to get this thing set up and going. I have in here my grilling um, plates. It does come with a griddle as well. And the best part about this thing, I think, I've never owned a George Foreman, but I've always heard that they were just kind of iffy as far as how to clean them. Um, this one, the plates pop out and they actually go in the dishwasher. So super easy to clean up. There's a drip tray under here and that's where the probe is stored. So you have everything in one place, which is also an extra bonus. It has a floating top to it. Um, so when I put the pork in there, it's not going to smash down or I can lift it up if I'm doing panini sandwiches and they're really thick because some, one of the, <laughs> and, okay, another thing I really like is when I do make paninis, I like to put lots of stuff in them. And if I were to grill that on the stovetop and then have to flip it, it's very likely that a lot of the filling would fall out. Well, on here, it's not going to fall out because it's cooking both the top and bottom at once. So while that's heating up, I have, let me turn this down just a little bit more. It takes me out of the picture, but it does put in part of the Flex Plus. I have the um, Immersion Blender part of it. Now, this power bar also attaches to a blender or a mixer, at like a hand mixer that you can use it with, or you can use it as a, um, oh, my words are gone today, <laughs> a fruit food processor. So if you want to do slicing or blending, mixing, things more than you can handle in the manual food processor, this is my go-to for that because it's going to hold I believe three quarts where the manual fruit processor is about three cups. Okay, three quarts sounds like a lot. I think it's double, it's a quart and a half, six cups. Anyway, I have in here some fresh herbs from my garden. Um, I just did the ones that I have so many of right now, rosemary, oregano, and parsley is what I put in there. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic and then I am going to go ahead and crush this just so I know it's getting well blended. What I'm doing is making an herb cream sauce, um, so fresh. And if you don't use it all in one sitting, you can always cook it into a gravy later and have that extra flavor. Okay, my limes, <laughs> I bought a whole bag of limes and now I'm like trying to use them with everything because they look terrible, but they're still super juicy. So. Put that upside down in the citrus press and you can see how it just squeezes all that out. We'll turn it to the side and then invert your lime so you get all the juice out of it. We'll do both sides here. All right, and then we're going to add in some black pepper and you can make add whatever you want to. There is no recipe for this. This is just a cream sauce. When you want, you can put it on salads. You can use it in sandwiches. Um, I'm going to use it as a sauce with the pork. Sometimes I use mayo. Today I am using Greek yogurt. So again, lots of different options. We're going to put in about a half a cup. Now, okay, we'll go back to this guy. It's all set up, ready to go. There's a little safety button here that I push and then push this. But when you use the immersion, you wanna get it down in your food first. Okay, let's get this going. 
Here we go. We're going to bump up the speed just a little bit. Typically that one you want to use some high. good. I think you can get a pretty good picture of what we have there um, for our cream sauce or it could be a dip. You can so many options for this. It's super easy to make your own mayonnaise. I have to admit I never made my own mayonnaise <laughs> until I had one of these and it was so simple what goes into it. Just oil, egg, um, mustard, and lemon juice and a little bit of salt. And then you do this for about that long that I just did and you will have fresh mayo. Okay, so we're setting that aside because I did want to show you the last thing I'm taking you to another part of my kitchen. So we have the Flex Plus, the Deluxe Grill and Griddle. Let's see if I can oh, get you attached. Okay, and the air fryer here. Okay, so air fryer set up. I have the little baby... Um, cast iron skillet. It comes in a set of two. So when you want to make desserts, just little quantities, or even doing side dishes, or um, I've been challenged by our hockey player that's coming back this Sunday to make poutine. <laughs> and I found that it worked really well to get it set up in these little baby um, cast iron skillets. And in here, oh, I'm beeping over there, so I need to get that pork on, but I wanted to show you this real quick. What I have in here just wrapped up, it was in my freezer for quite a while, um, it's cookie dough. So four scoops, medium scoops of cookie dough is the perfect amount to put down into this little five and a half inch cast iron skillet. And then when you, you don't have to preheat the air fryer, we just put it in there. And for the cookie, I'm going to go to bake and it auto presets to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. We're going to start there. I'm guessing the cookie, usually they take closer to 18 minutes when they're in there, but I'll just push that button. Oop, it was asking me if I wanted to change the time and then it starts cooking. So you don't have to preheat the air fryer when you want to reheat things, when you want to um, cook potato wedges, I do those all the time. Lots of different things you can do with the air fryer. So, all right, I'm going to get that pork in and as soon as the, the probe reaches the 145 degrees, it will turn off for me and dinner will be served. So have a great night, everybody. Thanks for checking in. Oh, and if you haven't checked out the party, I think I posted a link as well for the shared rewards party. Um, so you can get the $100 off these small appliances plus the 25% off that we've already reached in our shared rewards party. So let me know if you have questions about that. Have a great night.